to program the D10 with my phone. I need to download my Census Pro app. After downloading my Census Pro app, I'm going to launch. You are coming? Okay. I'm going to launch the app on my phone. I'm waiting for the app to be launched. So, while the app is launching, you can see you must ensure that your Bluetooth is on because it will connect via your Bluetooth. I will click on the D10. You can decide to give that D10 name. And sometimes you might decide to leave it without giving it name, maybe the name of the user. And sometimes you just leave it as data so that it will not be broadcasting the name of your client. So after you wait to connect to the operator. And one thing I normally advise my clients is when you want to use your, uh, your phone to operate it, it's better when you are inside. So the next thing is that I want to authenticate. I only need to authenticate once. So I need to open, I need to open the manual override for two seconds and close it. After closing it, she said. So if I don't want it to be repeated in the future, I can hide it as user. So as I've already, it is connected to the thing. So it's normally advisable that when you want to use your phone. Is when you are inside the house because if you are coming from outside, you will need to wait for a few seconds or sometimes minutes for it to update the settings. Maybe there is a setup of it, so you need to wait for it to update the settings before you can use it. So it's better, maybe as we're about going out, you are still inside your car in the house, connect via your Bluetooth, it will be updated. And there's another thing about this app is the moment there is any update from our company, which is Centurion. It always says the update of the phone. At any point in time that your phone is connected to the D5 or D10 smart, it will update it by itself. You will notice that it said it lost its lost program for the previous one. So I'll come here, I'll come to settings. Under settings, I'll click installation wizard. Under installation wizard, he said I should check both sides. Although I've already programmed the gate earlier, but I want to repeat the programming again. He said confirm. It will say, do you want the safety? Everything, I'll confirm it. I'll right click it, I'll confirm it. I'll confirm it. So I can set the speed. Let me go back. Let me set the speed. Waiting for the gate status. So stop end. I'm repeating it again for those that have not seen it earlier. So when it gets to set the speed, I can decide to set the speed. Let me increase the speed to 21. I don't know if I've increased the speed a little. But note that when you increase the speed, it also consumes the battery more. And when you reduce the speed, it reduces the level of consumption of the battery. And anytime you get to your battery mode, the speed will be lower. So now I want to start the setup. Set on both ends, I'll please. I'll please the yes, first end stop. It's finding the second one now. I need to wait for the kids to do the readings by itself. The gate is already moving outside. So it's looking for the second end stop now. The gate is still running, still running, still running. So it's initially it's first moves very slow. So, so the day is it's reached an answer. It's looking for the second one. It's still running the profile.
that's me here. It's yes again. So the gate will now run. So it will now ask me is the gate closed. The gate is open now, I'll select open. So it give me the reports. I'll press next. So here I can put the name of the customer and the time zone, but since and the country, the region, I decide to leave it at D10. Let me just put D10 smart. I'll just click on finished. Saving, do you want to run the configuration wizard? Select no, selecting no will leave all the configuration settings on here. So I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at no. If I want to do it again, assuming maybe the setup is not perfect, I'll select yes. But since the setup I'm doing now is very perfect, so it's applying all the setups I've just done and it's saving it in the memory of the processor. So everything is working perfectly now. It's validating settings. After the validation of the settings, it will show me one of the advantages of smart is that it showed me the height of the gate. The gate is good. It showed me the battery level, which is 27.56 volts. It showed me that the mains is coming in. So everything. We do not use uh, origin. We do not use alarm. And we do not use infrared or open or infrared close. So we leave. so that's why all those ones are black because they are disabled. If I'm to check the earth now, the earth of the controller is perfectly okay. The battery is perfectly okay. The operator is perfectly okay. I, we are not using any high use out of the high use except from trigger and pedestrian with I1 and I2. All the other ones are not being used. So that's why you find the green button on the two. So now on the remote, we have already added two remotes. So against you can go and check my previous videos. You see where I've thought on how to add remotes on this. If I want to add more remotes, I'll just click on add. I'll pray I'll select the button that I want it to be. Maybe the first button, maybe I want the first button here to be trigger. And maybe single press or long press. And I want the what I want the second button also to do. So I can select them. Maybe the second button is pedestrian. But since I'm not adding any remote, I will leave that one. So you can go and watch our previous videos on how to hard remote. So it's validating the setup. So now everything is working perfectly under the user under the user for the sake of privacy the user have already added the user the, the installer has a user and two of the users here to use because the user will save the phone number that's why i don't want to show you the phone number everything is working perfectly now thank you very much so let me now test using so the moment i press trigger I get to start using You will notice something that the moment the gate is closing, the battery is consuming a lot of the battery. The battery will go down a little, and by the time the gate is fully closed, the battery will increase back. So I close the gate. The gate is in closed mode now. If I also want to open the gate, I also press trigger again. So we have, there is a way you can set, pedestrian means if someone wants to come in and don't want the gate to be fully open. So let me first close the gate. Your gate must be closed before you can use the pedestrian function. You need to note that your gate must be closed before you use the pedestrian function. So let me use pedestrian now. Pedestrian means 
to allow someone to come in and go out, you will notice there is a counter. The counter is just nine seconds. So after nine seconds, the person will come. The gate will close back by itself. After nine seconds. I can also use it to open it again. The gate will also the, the gate will also close after nine seconds. So the counter will count nine seconds and the gate will also close back by itself. So under the settings, there is a way you can increase, there's a way you can increase the the size of the of your pedestrian bus. That one is for another class. Thank you very much and God bless you. I remain my humble self, Akilo Sepal. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube for more videos on ELV systems. And when we are talking of ELV system, we are talking of extra low voltage systems like motorized gates, like CCTV, intercom, access control, electric fence, solar and inverter installation. Thank you very much and stay blessed.